Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. I think it's going. Let me see. It's not saying live. There we go. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Happy Halloween, almost. But I thought I would come on and talk to you guys about some Halloween stuff that uh, was on my mind. So hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And I'm here today to talk to you about Halloween things that you can flip from Target on eBay to make a profit. I got to thinking about this because we were at Target yesterday, and there was a lot of stuff there that was still really good stuff. <laughs> stuff things that um, I was thinking, ooh, I need to come back when the after Halloween when the sale hits because I want to be able to find and flip things that will make a good profit. And there are things that Target puts out exclusively that are collectibles that people end up wanting to buy later. So if you are watching now, say hey in the chat. I may have my chat going, but it may be kind of funky. Hang on, let me flip this over. I didn't share it out, so that might be what's going on here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Thanks, everybody. Okay. So, as I was saying, there are things that are exclusive to Target, and this goes um, for any other store as well. There are things that are exclusive to many other stores that you can do this with. Check and see what kinds of things people are looking for during the holidays and then also after. So, hello, hello. I know personally we went to the Target dollar spot and we got a couple like um, slime. It was really gross, but the kids loved it. It was like this slime stuff and like you could put the skeleton bones in it and like form it and it would hold its shape for a little while and it would just like slowly melt out. And we went back to get more and they were wiped out. So I mean stuff like that um, that you're looking for <laughs> definitely is something, I didn't look that up, but I'm just thinking about, man, we went back because my sister wanted to get some. There were yeah, anyway, we'll just <laughs> put that to the side. Hello, everybody in the chat. Thanks for coming to hang out. So let's take a look um, at what I did. So the first thing that I look at is I just did a search for Target Halloween, and that, that just pulls up like the most recently sold items. So you can just kind of scan through and see, oh, okay, you know, I've seen those, I've seen this. But I was focusing on the higher ticket items so I have five things hi hi everybody I have five things that I noticed when I did the search and I sorted them from I clicked up here and you select price plus shipping highest first so you can see what are the highest things that have sold um, hello <laughs> so I've just lost my train of thought but that's me um, so that's what I did I went through to see what kinds of things sold for the highest amount. Now, some of these things I personally own that I bought a couple years ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that some of this stuff was worth money. Okay, so the first of the five items, there's a couple extras at the end. The first of the five items are is home decor, in particular, these birds. This, puts, this is put out by Hyde and Eek from Target, and they're these Featherly Friends, but they put out different ones um, every year, like in different little costumes. So these are ones, they didn't put the year on that, but I'm gonna click over so you can see. I think I have one or two of the birds, because I'm not into birds, but if you think about it, there are people who love birds. They're like really into birds. They just are. Okay, <laughs> so I get it. Like, oh, they want, <clears throat> they want them, and then, if they don't have the first year of them, they want to like go back and buy these. So these three Featherly Friends sold for a hundred bucks. All right, and there's a couple others. So this is another one that has like the little these little birds all dressed in their costume. Now this cat's gonna come back into it in a minute. So these ones, um, again, some of them say what year they. This is from 2017. Um, these ones sold for eighty five dollars. So I'm just saying. If you go to Target and look at the clearance, keep some of this stuff in mind. So this is the one, um, I guess his name was Seeker, and he sold for 35 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Also, this one just happened to pop up, but these are really Thanksgiving ones. But same deal, like these little pilgrim ones. I just threw it in here because I was like, well, it's there. Let's talk about it. These little birds, people go bananas for them. So this set of Target Thanksgiving birds went for 90 bucks. Twitch, yeah, Twitchers, yes. <laughs> um, 
So here's some more. This is the one that this I have, like this cat and this skeleton, um, jack-o'-lantern dude. Um, I have those two, and I have one other one. I think it's an owl um, that came out. Mine are not dressed like this, um, but these are from 2018, and it says Target Hide and Eat Boutique, Mr. and Mrs. Pumpkin Skeleton Black Cat. I don't know what their actual names are, but this sold for 56 bucks for those four. And I know I have the scarecrow one, like with the pumpkin head. I have an owl and I have the black cat. I think that's all. I might have four, but mine are dressed totally differently. So this is something I didn't even realize they were recurring every year. I did not know this. So, and then here's um, the, this year's 2018 birds and they are in their little masks and stuff aren't they cute I wonder whose job that is like I'm gonna get to dress these little birds up every year anyway <laughs> so these sold for 57.25 so there's that then the next thing that I was noticing that tended to um, sell for a fairly good profit are some of those animated things um, not necessarily the big animated you know like you push like the big giant skeletons and flying creatures but the smaller, like, talking skeleton heads or skulls or, like, things in a glass bottle that talk and stuff. So I was noticing light-up, moving, smaller decor items were also selling pretty well. Um, this is a carousel, village carousel, that lights up that sold for 45 bucks. And if you, like I say, if you're looking at clearance items, uh-oh, you got out of order. These four went for 60 bucks. <laughs> um, so here we had... Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein in their tube, tube, what do you call it, test tube thing. Sorry, my collar's poking up. I just heard my phone vibrating. I was like, oh. Um, and these sold for $46.66. All right, so, oh, these are more like the ones I've got. Like, I've got, but mine is also, it's just in a different outfit. It's not in this outfit. Anyway, I thought I had these all in order, y'all. Sorry. There, they got out of order. So here's what I'm talking about, like this Frankenstein head. There was one that my guys really wanted that looked like um, like an old radio. You know what I mean? Like it looked like one of those tune-in, like before TV radios, you know. And it would play all this like staticky stuff and like creepy music. Um, but we did not get it in time because they flew off the shelves. So this one um, and then like this guy, this like Halloween candy dish skull thing. He uh, went <laughs> for 45 bucks. Okay, so the next thing is costumes. Oh, I don't have that in order, do I? Well, we'll get to costumes in a second then. Um, so the next thing then is cookie jars, which seems weird, but some of these like we And here's the thing too. There are people that are into the macabre all year long, and they would keep this out all year long. You know, there are people, it's just like some people Christmas is all year, year, year long. Some people Halloween is all year. So this brain, you know, or, you know, you're a, what do you call it, neurologist or something, and you want your brain cookie jar out all year long, right? So this brain cookie jar sold for $44.99, and there's this Halloween, like, uh, jack-o'-lantern one. I saw another one when I was there the other day, too, that was really cute. I can't remember what it was now. Hi, everybody in the chat. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, then, how many friends do we have watching? Go over there and hit the thumbs up. Let me go peek real fast. Okay, so... The next thing, I've lost my list, of course, and I, things are out of order. <laughs> oh, these these were really, I remember seeing these, but I didn't buy any, and there are these nutcrackers, right? And you normally you would think nutcrackers are for Christmas time, but they had these Halloween nutcrackers, and I don't think these were from this year. I think this is from 2017. No, this is from another couple years, but I've seen them other years where they have these, like, nutcrackers but anyway they sold pretty well for 40 bucks for these three nutcrackers um yeah right Mary that brain cookie jar and so here's another little witch nutcracker she's from 2010 and she sold for 35 bucks you know another thing too you know if you see these out at garage sales or at the thrift store where they've got like a big table full of Halloween stuff and you see these nutcrackers well, I feel like I have seen them at Goodwill or at the thrift stores and like oh that's 35 bucks sitting there which you wouldn't normally think oh, right okay then another thing kinda goes hand-in-hand hand with the cookie jars 
are these piggy banks. They have these piggy banks that are, <clears throat> sorry, dressed up like pumpkins, or there was another one that was dressed up like, oh no, where did they go? Y'all, I had another one. I did. I don't know what happened to it. But there was another one. Maybe if I scroll down. Sometimes they show different. Oh, like Frankenstein. Like, I have a friend who's, like, super into Frankenstein. And so he's got tons of Frankenstein stuff all the time. Sorry, my throat. Um, so just keep that in mind. There are people that are into that kind of stuff. So then um, the last couple things, I guess I didn't get to costumes. Did I really go out of order? I hope I didn't delete it or close it out. Maybe I did. There were some costumes that did really well. I guess I closed that tab out, which it was on my list. But um, one of the things also is that sometimes the costumes will go on clearance and they can go for really good money. The one that I kept seeing over and over and over again that sold for a lot was this unicorn one. Let me see if I can show you. So, where did it go? I mean, I, I just kept seeing it over and over again. Now look, I can't, I can't find it at all. Oh, there's another cookie jar. It's like a cauldron or something. Cauldron cookie jar. Um, there's other things on here, too. I didn't hit all, like, these lights and things. But, all right, y'all. There really was. I promise. There it is. So this, like, rainbow unicorn thing, um, that's the one that I kept seeing over and over and over again. So if you think about, like, what's popular, that, that might be something to consider, too. And then just some of the other just random decor, like this vulture, kind of unusual stuff. Went, he went for 25 bucks, and these velvety pumpkins, they sell for 30 bucks. So just depending on what kind of price, I still don't get wreaths, okay, you guys? I don't get it. I get that you put it on the door and you decorate with it. Let's just, let me just get this rant of about wreaths off my chest. I don't understand how they cost so much, okay? You go places, and you'll see a wreath that goes on your door for like three weeks maybe, and they want 60 plus dollars for it. And I don't get it. Okay? There, I said my piece. I don't get it. It's a wreath. It's like this thing. It's round. You stick it on the door. Then you're done. And then when the holiday's over, you take it off the door. And boom, it goes back in the garage. Why do they cost so much? I don't get it. I guess it's like sheets. Why do sheets cost so much? It's like a flat piece of fabric. Okay, let's not get on to rants. But anyway, <laughs> this is a faux flower thorn wreath. That's over $30 because it's black and red and wreathy, I guess. Okay, I hope you guys found this video super helpful. Um, and if you're interested, let's say you don't have a Target in your area and you want to check out, I suddenly can't think of any other stores. Um, nope. <laughs> or if you have Kmart, Walmart, whatever you've got in your area, that might have exclusive Hallmark stores, things like that, um, that might put their things on clearance, then that's something that you could check out. And do that same, you know, search on eBay, look at the highest listings, and see what is um, what has sold recently, and for a lot of money. All right, thanks so much, you guys. Uh, go down there and hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you soon. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. I've lost my off button again, but this is par for the course. I hope you guys have a really great, safe Halloween, and I'm, I'm sure I'll see you before then, but talk to you later. Bye, everybody.